Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 25 of the Battle Pope as Kingdom of God here. Last time we had a bit of a uh, empire smashing session where we just destroyed France and destroyed the Ottomans in the same episode, which is quite a lot of fun. Now, unfortunately, that's left me with a bit of a, uh, a bit of an aggressive expansion problem. I'm sure it'll solve itself. And, uh, also, it's nearly the 1600s with no religious league war yet, so don't really know if that's gonna happen or not, but, uh, we'll find out. I'm also gonna go ahead and upgrade my ships real quick. Do that protect trade in Genoa? Only after being fixed up. And you guys will be fixed up as well. Okay, great. Now, yeah. Admittedly, this will cause a few problems, but... I'm sure we'll find a way to survive. I don't think it'll end up killing us. Now, on the same note as that, let's try and find some more friends, shall we? We do have Denmark, Bohemia, and Brandenburg, which are all nice and good, but... Uh, well, actually, no, we can't get the Commonwealth back. Muscovy hates us. Novgorod's a maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see if that's what we're doing today or not. Uh, let me grab my claims on the Ottomans. Just a few of them. Byzantium has pretty much no more claims. So I'll take this one. And that one. And that's it for that. We'll get rid of all of these. And how about we uh, extend our range a little bit? That's what I was thinking. We can charter another company. Uh, this one's a little too expensive for our tastes. Ooh, you guys are actually at war, so I can't charter from you. I can probably charter from you, however... I kind of need the range from the Congo. They're at war with Utrecht, Denmark, and Hainauts. Utrechtian conquests of... Den Haag. Okay, so they're defending... Holland? Okay, sure. Let's also bring all this trade up now that we've gotten that back. Tunis has joined the coalition, of course. Yep, makes sense. Ferrara as well. How about we um, build another army real quick? Is it still 25-4? No, it is not. It's 20, 26-4. But I can just fix that up in a moment. I'll just build one real quick. Because we have the size for it, I'll also go and... No, I won't do that, actually. Nah, no, I probably should. It doesn't really make a difference. If it's now or later, yeah, it is what it is. I'll move these guys over here. You can help get rid of all this unrest. I'm sure there'll be tons. In fact, you should help out over here, too. There we go. Five Diplo? Sure, it's not much. Speaking of Diplo, though, I was thinking of actually annexing Gascony, which I said really weirdly. Anyways, uh, annexing Gascony, which would be a pretty decent idea. However, when these cores are done, it'll be a bit of an issue. Uh, actually, I don't know if Denmark would help defend me if a coalition fired. The only reason the Mamlocks aren't joining is because there's already a war that they're fighting. Let's keep improving relations with uh, various enemies. Oh, Castile actually doesn't hate us. Hmm, huh, that's great. Let's go and improve relations with some more outraged. What else do we do here? Um, We'll go over the top one, that's fine. We'll make some countries a little bit happier. Oh, Castile's gone for the first circumnavigation. Very nice. We can lose money from mercantilism and some loyalty bonuses. Hmm. I suppose that's okay. And for the first time in a while, we're actually losing money. Because I've gone ahead and made another army. Let's give him another general too. I mean, to be fair, we're also not uh, protecting trade at all, so... We should improve a bit of cash? No. We're not because... We already, uh... We already have most of the trade in Genoa, so we don't need anything else. 
If I really want money, what I should do is... Take it from Valencia or Sevilla or something. Maybe Sevilla would be fine. We don't have a merchant for that, but... If we move that guy from Genoa... Or from Valencia, sorry. Does that do much? Does that change anything? Well, first of all, that actually increases that. Um, second of all... You guys should stand here. We're gonna move you guys back home. Well, one of you is gonna be moved back home. No, both of you are, actually. Move you home, and then we'll move this guy as well. Prestige or admin? Obviously admin. Morale of armies plus 20%. It's only six years, but boy, is that interesting. 6.22 morale. Pretty fancy stuff. Not bad at all. Um, Zeta gets a missionary failure. Oof. It's already done, though, isn't it? Doesn't really matter, does it? No, sir, it doesn't. Darn, I guess the missionary failed. Whatever will we do. Such a massive shame, that is. And we'll lose the fine prestige. I don't want to waste more money right now. Serbian separatists, um... You can help deal with those. That's fine. And I'm sure in due time we'll be able to solve all these uh, pesky little issues here. With, you know, coalitions and stuff. I'm sure we can solve that pretty quickly. We are really losing money though, it kind of sucks. Um, so, I brought you to Valencia, didn't I? Yeah, how about you go to Sevilla? I'm a little more interested in that. Let's see what happens now. Uh, 3.5 goes to there, but only 1.87 moves. That's not very much. Can I privateer off of something for some direct cash? I can privateer directly off of Sevilla for that money. Which is a little bit better. And so I can get you from Sevilla instead, over to here. That should solve a little bit of our money problem. Just keep pirating these dudes. I mean, they don't they don't like us, but at the same time, you can't join a coalition yet. Eh, yet. I am pirating them, so... It's only a matter of time before they hate me enough, but... For now, we're okay. We're doing just fine for now. Okay, that's gonna take quite a long time before you're done. Hmm... Gascony will be finished in 14 years? That is a hell of a long time. I can only imagine how long Byzantium's gonna take. Byzantium, who has a lot more dev. I can really only imagine. Global trade exists, okay, very nice. That should spawn super fast for us. Also, it seems that there's still no League War. I don't know what's happening. But, um, yeah, a little bit weird. Still, still nothing. Move these guys over as well. And you can go over here and just... And maybe one day we'll get some problems, I don't know. Maybe we'll finally get a League War in the next uh, year or so. Maybe, we'll see. Come on, give me my policies, please. Oh, there's really nothing in the middle here, that sucks. The Anti-Heresy Act is pretty strong, but I don't know if it's worth it for us. Not yet, at least. Four maintenance or devotion? I'd actually just tank devotion. I mean, at this point, we get like three per year. It's pretty good. Like, we're, we're pretty much fine. Okay, Mamluks, let's rival you. Somehow you've become strong enough. You were already going to join the coalition, so just join it at this point. Um, oh, and we've been stealing money from their gold ships as well. Ooh, interesting. So the coalition looks something like this. It looks scary, but at the same time, eh, it could be a lot worse. So I'm not super afraid of it. Just not very fond of it, to say the least. I could probably... Let's see here. Who could I kick out? Lanshut. 
Um, maybe Millet? No, okay. Three leagues? Nope. Regents? Yes. Memmingen? Yes. Savoy? Big no. Provence? Mega no. Same with Ferrara and Provence. It's still funny how Ferrara's existed for this long. They migrated to Burgundy and they somehow lived. It's kind of funny. Okay, it really is just sort of either a waiting game or a destroy them now type of game. But I'll play a little bit more of the waiting game. See if the League War fires and if so then... Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be under the protection of the League during the League War. So if anyone tries to attack us, I'm pretty sure that we get the League on our side. I'd, I'd have to sort of confirm that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If you attack anyone in either League while the League War is happening, then that entire League will kill you. As far as I remember, at least. I don't know. Something something along those lines. Something something uh, destroy people outside the League. I don't know. Okay, uh, the burgers would hate me, but Morocco would like me. Well, I don't really care about Morocco's opinion. Because they already like me, and they should not be in this coalition. We can probably change that with a Diplo check, but that'll have to be between episodes. Speaking of which, I think I set a timer for today. I did, okay. So we're looking good. Bit of corruption's not the worst. Still no League War. And it'll end in around, uh, well, less than ten years, maybe eight. Eight or so years. Ooh, it didn't spawn in, uh, in England this time. Which it usually does, but no, it's decided to spawn in Holstein, actually. Or maybe it's Holstein, because Denmark owns it, I don't know. Very fascinating. I find that interesting. It's also funny how Lubeck is probably making a fortune off of trade now. Yeah, probably. I don't know how much... How they're making this much money, actually. It's kind of crazy. But uh, it is what it is. Now, let's get ourselves a little bit more... Tax dev here. And I should probably focus on Diplo for the time being, considering I'm... Uh, well, I'm using a little bit. A little bit on making Gascony properly integrated. I can private... I can hire you for a little bit longer. want to make sure it's not too long, of course. Else that might be a problem. Oh, you know what I should, I should also do? I should, um, once I hit this, I need to become Defender of the Faith. And, okay, so after the League War is done, actually, or if there will ever be a League War, who knows. So on the off chance that there's a League War, Nice, they've left. Um, then we can go ahead and grab that next mission for 10% professionalism, I think, right? It's pretty good, actually. Like, it is pretty solid. It's good stuff. But, uh, well, of course, it's all about the League War. Whether or not it'll happen in the next eight years. There's a revolt there. Um, where is that revolt? Kasim did not expect that one. Let's bring those guys over and they can deal with that. And another one. Oh, hold on. We'll have to grab this one first, and then you can go over there. Let's do this. That Mingan has left. Beautiful. And I will move you over here. It's much faster this way. We can get rid of that, and the fort will take care of the rest. We can do this. Is this war still going on? Yeah, you're still at war. Someone different this time, though. It is Brabant. And their conquest of Zealand. Hmm. Well then, I guess it seems like I've lost my opportunity. Holland's just done a quick exodus. Carib is, uh... Existing, I guess? I don't know. They have better Miltech than Scotland, and that's all I need to say. We'll see if we have Carib, uh, rise up and invade and win, or I don't know, something like that. Also, I'm quite uncomfortable about the, um, 
the Breton f New World or the the Breton East America? That's a little uncomfortable, but okay. I guess it kind of is in their mission tree, though, isn't it? So they're kind of expected to take some uh, expansion ideas. It's still a little bit weird, but whatever works for them. None of my business. I'll probably just vassalize and annex their uh, their colony then. New problem. Well, maybe not vassalize, just annex works fine too. We'll see. Okay, some noble rebels in someone's territory. Gasconese, okay. I can deal with that for you. The coalition is getting a little bit smaller. Looking good. You would leave. Actually, you should leave. Um, Bar should leave, actually. They're at plus 35, which is quite a lot, actually, so... I feel like they should be gone. Let's attach you onto here and send you up. So you can deal with these Kasim Separatists. Let's go for Admin and Diplo, looking very nice. Advisors also died, okay. Discipline's probably the best idea. I don't see any reason not to. Sure. I'll grab that. Send these guys up here to deal with those problems. And hopefully this coalition will, you know, solve itself soon enough. A couple of Ottoman Separatists, though. Hmm. They're on the fort, so it's not too concerning. It's just that the missionary's not going to do its thing. Oh. Very nice uh, picture here. That's probably the, the mod bugging out. We get a claim on Pultawa. The Umbrian Crimea Company will expect a province to be conquered within a few years. That province. Sorry, what province is this? Pultawa. Oh, they want me to invade the Commonwealth. Okay, you absolute mad lads. I really don't think I'm going to, though. To be honest, I just don't think that's it. It's probably not going to happen. Bars left as well. Okay, great. No longer need to improve relations with you. That one province is done. Nothing left for me to convert for now. We've solved that issue. Another conversion. I'll bring you back over here to deal with that. Still no league war. I'm waiting on it. The Protestants, they probably don't think they're stronger is the only problem. Which is fine, because the dominant faith will still be Catholic, I think. Unless they get the... Oh, there's... There's, of course, the Council of Trent. But hold on, why was it... The Council of Trent's already gone. There was no more Council of Trent. It's, it's been gone for, like, years. Oh, well, there's the Protestant League. You know what? That that happened. I didn't even notice. I didn't get a call to arms because that's not how it works. So I, we're just... We're in it now. We're, we're, we're in the League War. Okay, cool, cool. Let's back the League. So I get... Oh, I just wasted a stab and some more exhaustion. But everyone gets mercenary costs and maintenance, which is cool. Um, I mean, it'd be a little bit broken if everyone got the, uh, the stab and... Uh, War exhaustion as well, but I still should have waited a little bit to pop that. It is what it is. Okay, I'm getting a little bit too close on that uh, good old min, so let's grab those. We'll try and clear a path in through here to meet up with you, and then you can come here as well. And it shows superiority, right? Yeah, so we just have to destroy a lot of troops. Like, a lot of troops. Tons and tons of troops. So, how about we begin by... Jeez, oh, I don't even know what to do. We literally just have to stack wipe as much as possible. Now, we'll have this morale thing for like a few days or something. It's really not much. Grand Captain will last literally like a year. So, fight as much as possible. Until then... Let's uh, bring these guys over here, and then they can start sieging down some of that, and then you can come over here. How are the signs looking up? Uh, we have 
Around 30,000 fewer men, I'd say. Maybe 60,000 at most. But hopefully we'd be fine. Just uh, do it stack by stack. Whittle them all down as much as possible. Unfortunately, it looks like Brandenburg's not... Uh, not having the right idea. I don't know if that's so great a plan. Yeah, I didn't think so. What do we do here? Lose a bit of money, gain loyalty, and they lose influence. That sounds like the best possible thing for us to do. Also, let's put on some, uh, some better music. We have some new war music to explore here. Let's go with the Land of Imperialism War. Speed 3, of course. I don't know if we'll get there on time, or if it's even worth it. No. Okay, I didn't think it was worth it either. <clears throat> but someone feels eager to go and just uh, throw himself into, into the fray. I don't know why. There goes some more troops. Yeah, we're not looking so hot. We've already lost our superiority. do our best, our best to uh, convene against the target in here. Any stack wipes as well, literally anything we can take. Big wars, you know, big battles, small battles, any sort of battles that so long as we can throw all of our men into and find some success with is worth it. I mean, we also have ridiculous manpower stuff. I really don't want to read all of these, but hold on. We get there on the 8th so we'll be losing looks to be about half of these half of these men. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Stack wipe in any way possible. Let's see if we can go and um maybe deal with Castilian troops, I'm not sure. Now, let's clean up the HRE first. They can siege whatever they want. We'll be busy over here destroying men. That's a lot better. Oh, they've looted Moscow. Of course they have. Of course they have. Why wouldn't they? Actually, no, why would they? Muscovy looted Moscow. Hmm. Okay. Fascinating. Okay, let's bring you guys up into here as well, actually. Let's not have you lock in just yet. Make sure we can have a pretty good fighting force over here. Definitely no stack weight, but at least some good damage. Same thing over here. Probably not a stack weight, but good damage. God, it feels like I'm almost single-handedly single carrying this League War. Good lord. I've lost 13,000 men. I mean, it's not like it's Hoi 4 where you can check exactly how many... how many men you've personally gotten rid of, but... Let's keep going. That's like a few stack wipes down. I don't even know if we'll win this league war, actually. There are a lot of people here, so... I don't know if it's going to work out. Oh, boy. Yeah, so that's the uh, timer to begin with today. We won the Siege of Bessarabia. Very nice. Um, hmm. Let's go over here and see if we can help out this siege. I'm going to ask all of my... Subjects to be aggressive, as aggressive as you can be. 
Oh, some free prestige, very nice. How about I use that, actually? To placate Aragon twice. Enforce religion. Get some prestige back, and then maybe do it again, but we'll find out. I don't know. Stack wipe, stack wipe, maybe, maybe? Yes, beautiful. Early enough for a stack wipe, great stuff. Let's also get rid of you, and let's... It's sort of like maneuvering around me, it's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. I feel like running away from all my troops. Get back here. I'll fight you. Oh, maybe I don't want to fight you. Hold on, do I want to fight you? Let me bring back up just in case. Uh, Cologne could like me or I could get free Diplo. Well, I do like free Diplo. Yeah, I have a feeling they might try and reinforce infinitely. Which is sometimes something they do. So, I'm just making sure that doesn't happen. Um, let's have you go into here and we'll have you fight. Over here, Ulm has become a prosperous city. Interesting. So it's one, two, stacks, three. Third one will go over here and probably deal with like... Oh, geez, your capital moved to Rostock? Disgusting. Anyways, we'll go and deal with maybe this set of units? Probably. You guys don't do much, but we're moving in. Maybe we'll be able to defend? I don't know, I'm a little afraid of those wing tassars. Yeah, they did a lot of damage to us, actually. Jeez, that's not so great. Hmm... It's not like anything... No one can separate piece, can they? Actually, no, they can, because everyone's like a co-belligerent, except for Bandon, which isn't. Interesting. We're not going to make it there in time, we should just move him out. Keep going. Uh, you want to attack here, so I will, I will help defend that. Real quick. This is not a great place to be defending, but we'll do it anyway. How are we doing? Oh, we would have been okay, except they're coming in to reinforce. Such a massive shame. Are they going to help us? Are we going to win? No, didn't think so. Rip. Jeez, yeah, this is not looking so good. What do we have from battles here? Minus 18 from battles, so that's not going to work out very well. Ooh, that's not great either. Yeah, I don't know about this whole League War thing. Hmm. It might not even work out. The Commonwealth and uh, Castile might carry it too hard for us. Jeez, that's unfortunate. Maybe I shouldn't have killed Ottomans in France. Eh, that's a possibility. Maybe they would have been useful in uh, surviving this whole thing, but... If I participate in the League War, I'm pretty sure I still get a, an age bonus, I think. Just being in it is a free age bonus, so... It's not the end of the world, I mean, I'll just have to force it back. Lost a siege over somewhere. Probably. This one? No. Probably something that we got sieged for us, I don't even know. Uh, let's grab a leader back. It'll be you. And you can go into here. Kind of want to catch him over here. We have one more army, which is this one right here. Ooh, that is not a place for you to reinforce in. Come back home. You should probably come back over here. Or maybe you should stay right where you are. I don't know. You're not going to reinforce very quickly over there, though. Unfortunately. Yeah, one siege over there. Gone. Rip. And let's go and move you into here. Do that. Hills. Yeah, maybe not the greatest of ideas. Are you going to go into these hills? Is Provence on our side? No, I don't think so. Provence is on the enemy side, okay. 
Ah, oh, League Wars, so much fun. This one's probably a loss, though. This League Wars is probably over. Did you... No, okay, you didn't fight me. I don't know what that was, actually. Battle was lost, but... Also, oh yeah, is this one up here? I didn't think they would attack it because I don't. Th I didn't think they had the numbers for it, but I guess they did. Probably just didn't see them. So let's move these guys. Okay, we're not going to move these guys apparently. Nope. They'll probably get stack wiped actually. Uh, yep. That's what's going to happen. Nope. Maybe not. No, but they are reinforcing somewhere where they will. That's a shame. Or they're leaving to somewhere. Oh, and Vorgast left. Rip. A new Pope. Okay, great. We're still Popel. Popel? No. We've uh, actually lost Curia somehow. I think we had like 67% chance, but that's just unfortunate. Ah. Oh well. You can't win every League War, unfortunately. I tried my best with this one, but... Um, it probably wouldn't let me leave either, so we'll just wait for the whole thing to finish out. We don't lose all that much from it, but we are losing a lot of uh, a lot of friendlies here, so probably not going to work out in the end. Whoa! Catholic faithful will always find a haven here, which means everyone hates me, or I can just have Gascony like me a little bit less, which is fine because uh, it doesn't really make a difference. I should get their capital back, actually. I care more about annexing Gascony than I do about this League War. So how about I move you both into here. See what I can do there. Yeah, there's no escape from that. Because, like, they just keep they keep ping-ponging back and forth between, like... Well, I mean, there's just nowhere they can go. Nowhere that they can uh, reinforce that. So... Ping-pong, pretty much. Yeah, the HRE is a little bit of a mess there. Just like this uh, battle, which shouldn't be happening. Fifty-seven percent on that capital. Hopefully we can grab it quick. Uh, you guys are moving into the defensive mountains, which is good for you. That's grasslands. I'm not gonna. Die. I'm not gonna fight that. We'll grab a little bit of professionalism. Maybe I will go with a professionalism run this time around. Uh, which doesn't give us much, but... I think we've also run out of time for today, so this will be like... Probably the first half of the League War. We'll probably end up losing it, to be honest, but I won't lose much out of this. Just a bit of manpower and money. For now, though, this is Corbett signing off. Hoping you enjoy today's episode, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a quick thank you to the patrons you see on screen here for the month of June. Especially those in the Admiral tier, Ben Greenhagen, Car Newley, and Tigerpop. Those in the General tier, Justinian and Brennan Arcano. And in the Prince tier, Natsuki and Rockbox. And in the King tier, Chewy Shoot. Thank you all so much for your donations, it means a lot to me. And you're helping to move the channel forward more than you know. And as always, I can't possibly thank you enough.